Hey, what's going on, everybody? So the truth will rise. Back with uh, a new video. And uh, what I wanted to get into today um, was kind of... Well, I'll just jump right in. Of course, as we know, this is February, um, Black History Month, and it's the month has drawn to a close. I have somewhat noticed that I have not, you know, heard or seen as much about it on television, which, of course, that doesn't really surprise me. You know, look who runs, you know, TV and media. But that notwithstanding, what I have seen and do see, it's always the same thing. The same, you know, 12 to 15 personages every single month and while I'm certainly let me let me back up and say I'm certainly not minimizing any of the contributions that these brothers and sisters have made by any stretch of the imagination however with that being said let me say this that black history first of all is not just his, the historical uh, story of us in America, okay, it is global, because of course, you know, you have our brothers and sisters back on the continent, but we're in Europe, Australia, Asia, you know, Canada, South America, everywhere, you know, that that we've made a contribution, and, and you know, you don't hear so much about that, you know, I, I look and of course you see Martin Luther King and Harriet Tubman and Jackie Robinson and all these people, you know, but how often, you know, I would love to see and, and maybe it falls on people like myself and, and, and others, you know, to talk about, you know, a, a, a Yea Santiwa, who is one of the baddest sisters ever to walk the planet, you know, if you want to talk about a strong woman, you know, to hell with all these useless and famous celebrity people, people hold up, that was a bad sister, and parents out there, if you have daughters and you want to, you know, tell them that story, of, you know, what went down with uh, the Asante Confederacy in Ghana and all of that, and, you, and if you don't know the story, you will definitely do yourself a favor, and if you do know it, and you are not passing that on to your children every day, you do them a extreme disservice. Or, you know, just talking about um, somebody like an in hotel who was, you know, the first architect and artist and poet and, you know, doctor. You know, this really probably the first I guess genius you could say in recorded history, this brother was awesome. And you know, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. And matter of fact, on movies, oh gosh, what's that movie called? Uh, the Mummy, he's actually vilified, I mean, which is totally ridiculous. Um, you know, someone like a, a Queen T or, or even more contemporary, I, I hear somewhat, you know, somebody like a Marcus Garvey or, um, else, Madam C.J. Walker, uh, you know, Jacob Lawrence, people like this that, you know, you don't hear about at all or, you know, or about as much, you know, I, you know, I think that it's up to us, you know, as black people to kind of, uh, I guess you could say step outside the box of always, you know, using the same conventional, you know, figures over and over again to expand to know that we have had a, a lasting and long impression, you know, of, of impacting this realm, this earth. You know, you know, talking about the old neck of the kingdom of Benin or, you know, um, Adwa and all these things, you know, that's black history as well. And, you know, we've got to, to, ex to, to expand on that because the, the television and the media and the, 
the educational system as it is is not going to do it. They're going to continue to, you know, try to minimize it and shove the same people down on us to make us think that that's all there is. When in fact, you know, there's a lot more to it. And that was an observation that really hit home for me the other day. And I felt the need to, to get on video and say something about it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ever learning, you know, about our history as well. You know, I, I learn new things all the time. So I'm, I'm, I am by no means, believe me, an expert at all, you know. And I'm not afraid to say it. What I know, I, I feel like an infant. Um, in terms of, of historical knowledge of us, you know, and I'm not afraid to admit that at all, you know, but that's part of the journey. I, I embrace that, that process of learning, and I think we need to as well, because through that, you will not only learn more about our people and our historical um, achievements and, and highlights and lowlights and all of those things but learn something about yourself as well and that's part of the reason that we are in the state that we're in right now because we don't really know ourselves we don't know who we are as a people and we have come to this low place you know we're vibrating at such a low level and you know part of that is confusion of not knowing or not recognizing who we are and part of that is knowing, you know, where you come from and who you are. So, I'm going to close this out because I'm not a, certainly not a lecturer. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a skilled orator. And so, um, I could go on about this for, for 30 minutes. But I had to make this video and hopefully, uh, you know, somebody will, will take this and, and run with it and hopefully... It'll start somebody on that path um, to knowledge. So, this is The Truth Will Rise. I'm going to sign off on this video. Um, just want to wish everybody uh, much peace, much power, much positivity. I'm out.